All right, welcome to the Eat Up Orgasm of Cheese. I'm Don Stugatz, and this weekend I got something real cool planned for you. I know the angle's all messed up, nothing works right. I had to do it like three times now. I gotta fix this for you guys. Let me lock that in so nothing happens. I don't know if what you could see, what you can't. You know, it's weird because, you know, it works right and then it don't. I don't know. Third base, right? All right, so. All right, so this week, what do I got plans for you guys, right? Something special, just like every week, right? Orgasm of cheese. You want to see this here? Look at this. Mozzarella waffles, right? Did, 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 did I just blow your mind with this? But yeah, orgasm of cheese, mozzarella, waffles. That's what I'm cooking up for you people tonight. Let me just get set up over here now. I don't know what's wrong with the Facebook Live thing. It don't work right now. I did everything. I uninstalled Facebook. I reinstalled the Facebook app, right? Let me come over here now. I did everything. I All right. Yeah, sorry, Tim. I had to stop and start again. It wasn't... It wasn't like streaming, it was like locked on. I don't know what the problem is. All right, so for this recipe, right? I don't want to lie to you people. I found this recipe a couple months ago on that Tasty website that you old people all love, right? Because you're always like uh, 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 sharing the posts and throwing your little thing in. Like they make like a, a, a pasta dish and then someone's like, I'm from pasta and that's not what this dish should look like. You gotta get over it. Those traditional things that you have in your mind they're just right there. They're just in your mind. Expand a little bit, like I'm gonna do for you tonight. Mozzarella waffles, right? We got three ingredients, maybe four, but it's all easy stuff. We got flour, we got breadcrumb, we got a, a couple of fresh eggs, and we got mozzarella, baby. Look at this, huh? Look at all that. I cut it all up nice with my Ginzu. Throw that back there because I'm gonna end up in my foot, and then I gotta go to the emergency room. We're gonna go to the emergency room anyway with some nice treats for Jen and some nice other people in there, my friends that work there. But I don't want to go there with a knife with my ginzu sticking out of my foot, right? So, we'll break it down for you people, right? We got the mozzarella. Now this mozzarella, it's fresh mozzarella, but it's like, it's like yesterday's mozzarella, right? It's not the one that you see in the big tub when you go into Saparo's over on 16th Avenue and 65th Street, which ain't there anymore. Or if you go to Cangiano's, or, 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 or B&H uh, Pork Store over there on 86th Street. No, 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 no. This stuff's got to be a little dry, right? When I went into the little Italian market over there, right over by the flea market that I always go to, right? I said, I don't need the fresh stuff that he's got in the container. And the little lady behind the counter, I thought she was going to have like a heart attack or a brain aneurysm. She was like, oh, what? And I was like, no. Give me the stuff that's a little dry. Because I got something special planned and it's got to be dry. It can't be like soaked in that nice water. Uh, you know, whatever. She wasn't happy. Uh, we went back and forth. She said she was going to call the family up in, in Bensonhurst. And I might have to like pay a little tribute next time I go home. Unless something bad's going to happen. But that's fine. Because that's what I do for you people, right? Flour. Just basic flour. You need a cup of it, right? Breadcrumbs. And now let me tell you something today, right? All right. I need a cup of that. Going into the store today for breadcrumbs. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say about this. There, there's whole wheat breadcrumbs. Uh, there's even there's even gluten-free breadcrumbs for you people with the it's upset stomach with the celiac thing, right? But you don't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to be deprived and live empty, meaningless, sad, lonely lives anymore because there's gluten-free breadcrumb for you to enjoy. Right? What's better than that in life? Breadcrumbs. Now you got it. You people, you have got it all. That's 2016 in America. Not Blue Lives Matter, not Black Lives Matter, not Purple Dinosaurs Matter, no. Gluten-free breadcrumbs are here. Thanks, Obama, okay? Then someone's gotta say it. Let's see what you people talking about. Yeah, it could've went with some panko if I wanted to, but I don't know how it's gonna taste with this. So I went with the regular breadcrumb, and for next time I make it for someone, maybe, I'll try the little pankos, right? So the other thing I got here, three farm fresh eggs, right out of the chicken's ass this morning, right? I got a little hookup for some fresh farm eggs. They're brown, though. For you racist people that are going to vote for Donald Trump and all that jazz, 
Don't worry about it. Brown eggs aren't going to do anything to you. I swear, okay? But the most important thing, like I said, fresh mozzarella. Meh, we're all good. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I got to move this over so you guys can see because the camera don't work right now. See, it's got my little... I got my little uh, 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 um, waffle maker over here now. I couldn't think it would work. So when that gets hot, I'm going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. The brand don't matter. Someone's going to ask. I know. What kind of cooking spray did you use? You didn't tell us. What are you going to do? Just go buy cooking spray and shut your mouth. And that's it. All right? So when that gets hot, I'm going to make a little cocktail behind me. I'll be right back. That's going to get hot in a minute. We got my glass. I'm trying not to turn my back to people as much because people keep complaining about that. We got some good stuff here. I don't know if you guys can see the stove, but I got some sauce. I got some macaroni cooking that I got to eat for the weekend because some of us have to work all weekend. Some of us aren't like you people that get to sit around. All right. So yeah, I poured myself a nice big glass of wine. I get thirsty while we're doing this thing. I'm sorry. Stir it up now. All right, here we go. All right. So first thing we're gonna do now, right? That's getting hot. Oh, I think I gotta close it. I just bought this this morning. I don't even know how it works, right? We close it so it gets hot. All right, we're gonna take our eggs over here now. Put them right in our bowl. Get it all out there. We gotta beat these things. We gotta beat these things so hard, it's gonna be like the first time I saw your mom naked. You remember that day? It was a good day, right? That's how we gotta beat these things. And while I'm doing that, I'm see what you guys are talking. What's up, Maria? Hey, Martha. Martha, I got fresh mozzarella. Just for you, okay? I know you like it. Uh, if you guys said anything else, I can't see it, but I'm gonna try to scroll up. Try to scroll up. All right. Tim is here, we got Carla, Tiffany, my other EMS partner, my other sister. I'm not gonna burn myself. Well, I am gonna burn myself, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Not like that didn't happen like three times already while I made the first batch of these things. And they're delicious, let me tell you. Listen, I, I made a couple of these and you know, uh, it's hard enough, you know, you only see two. There was more than two before that I cooked. So while I'm doing this, right? You want to take your block of mozzarella and you cut it. I already cut it with the Ginzu because I, I just wanted to save some time. You cut it in four equal strips, right? Really, what you do is cut it in half and then half again. And then you take those, you turn them all on their side, and you cut all those in half. So each one block of uh, mozzarella, you're going to get eight cubes like this. The size don't matter. They're all going to be different sizes. Ladies, don't be, such, don't be so hung up on the size, right? It's okay. So something so small can still give you a lot of pleasure and, and happiness in life, right? So big deal. Not that I have to worry about that, but you know, some guys have to. Don't uh, don't uh, uh, ostracize these poor people. They need love. Yeah, sure. I'll come right over and cook for you and rice for you. All right. So that's not ready yet. That's gonna tell me when it's ready. But I'm just gonna keep beating. These should be good though. If you wanted to, you could throw some spices into the egg if you want. You don't have to because there's spice in there. The sauce that we have, the marinara sauce that I made a couple weeks ago has been sitting in my freezer. I gotta cook that all tonight so I can uh, have food for the weekend for work. So I got a little extra and put it in a bowl. So you have it already. And I showed you guys how to make the sauce. If you don't know how to make it, go back and watch those other videos. It's pretty simple. It's just marinara sauce. There's no meat in it. It's not gravy. No, no, it's true. There's no lies. Only a lot of girls. And small children, because, you know, we're not going to lie to you anyway. So you may as well lie first. It's okay. All right. I think there's a beat. And judging by the, the little light on the top of the thing there, that looks like it's ready. I already sprayed it. Oh, it's locked. The hardest part about this is that I'm left-handed. I gotta operate this with the left hand and I'm gonna have to bring everything over with the right. It's a whole coordination thing. Trust me, I got burned a couple times already, so it's gonna be okay. And my girlfriend's a paramedic, and so it's no big deal if I get hurt. So, all right, so we take our little cube here, right? Then put it, just put it in the flour. 
if you guys can't see something, just tell me. I'm looking at the comments. I'll come right over and I'll show you with the camera. I don't know if you can hear the music. I think it's the uh, it's Pandora, obviously. But I think I got the uh, Nathaniel Radcliffe uh, station. That music's toe tapping into that kid, right? So we just cover it all nice with the flour. We go into our egg. We just drown in it. Now listen, if you got some sort of uh, OCD about dirty hands, don't watch this because this is gonna be bad for you. This is messy to cook. And if you people have little kids at home, this is a great thing to get them involved in. Don't just have them like, oh yeah, make me the uh, Stouffer's uh, 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 mozzarella sticks out of the freezer. Get them involved in what you're doing because then they'll get a bit of appreciate it, appreciation for the stuff. And not that, they get their hands dirty and all kids love getting their hands dirty, even girls. Girls are gross in other ways, but and we're gonna take our our little mozzarella here. We're gonna go right to our breadcrumb. I'm gonna throw some more breadcrumb into this. All right, and we just make sure it's covered up all together in the uh, uh, breadcrumb. Right, cover the sides. You want to turn it every which direction. Get all six sides of the cube. I know someone's counting. Uh, six sides. Yeah, trust me, it's a cube. It's six sides. All right. See, just like this. I don't know if you can see because the glass is in the way. You just keep fucking around here with this. And the thing is, you keep messing around with this, right? The more you mess around with it, the harder it gets. And that's how much better it's going to be when it's a little stiff. All right? What we're going to do now, this is my little twist on this. We're going to go back into the egg. So I might have to crack a few more eggs, which is no big deal. All right. And we're going to go back into the breadcrumb. And like I said, it's messy. You can see it's messy. It's no big deal. What are you guys talking about? It is the Italian way. Right? And like I said, you keep messing around with it, you keep flicking it and rubbing it nice with the breadcrumb, and it gets nice and hard, and that's what you want, right? So we're going to put this one over here on the side for right now, because we want to put both of them on the uh, 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 waffle line at the same time. I couldn't think of the name. All right, so I got my second one over here now. I'm going right into the flour. And get dirty hands, dirty hands. It's all right. It is the OJ's way. I don't know, that might be what's playing in the background. I can't even tell. I can't see right now. All right. See the new setup here? It looks pretty good, right? I'm working on it. Every week we tweak. Back into the egg. The only bad part about this is it all gets stuck to your fingers, right? So you get, like, you lose a little bit of feeling for what you're doing. So you got to keep an eye on it. You don't want to mix so much that all the flour comes off or that all the breadcrumb comes off. Right to the breadcrumb. One to the other. Bing, bang, boom. There you go. And you just keep flipping it. Turn it all around. I got Sean texting me. Saying, damn. I sent Sean a little tease picture of uh, the finished product before. He was like, what the hell is that? I was like, you want to know? You find out tonight when you watch, okay? We don't give away spoilers. All right, right back into the egg. Now, like I said, just get it all in there. All right, make sure it's all nice and wet. Because... No one likes it dry. It dry, you know, who the hell wants dry? All right, flip it all around. All right. All right, so now we get this thing ready over here now. All right, we put this one over there. Give this one one last turn. Right on there, two minutes. Two minutes, you can press down, you don't have to press down. I'm gonna try to get some of this off my fingers. All right, that's good enough. All right, 9, 13, all right, so two minutes, and you can just keep pressing down. The gravity alone as it cooks should bring it down to the locking position. If not, you can press down. Don't You don't wanna force it down. You check it if you want, these things look nice. All right, what are you guys talking about? Let me see what you're just saying. All right, I still got the breadcrumb on my finger. I got some of it off. Don't worry, man. It's no big deal. My hands are clean. I washed my hands like five times already since I even stopped cooking at 8.30. So don't worry. It's looking good, baby. Now we got to be careful because I'm pushing down with my right hand. My left hand's over here next to the hot sauce. This is how accidents happen. Trust me. All right. You want, like I said, you want to push down where you get to the locking position. If you can't, it's no big deal. Just to grab the weight of your hand will push it down enough so as the uh, uh, cheese is cooked, it gets a little softer and it'll come down on its own. 
This way it cooks nice and even on both sides. Oh, my friend Olga's here. Hey, Olga, I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you. Miss you too, Stacy. All right, I gotta get a clean fork now. And I got my tongs. Where the hell's Mike and Mike tonight? Those, uh, they're like Martin and Jeff. They're always here. All of a sudden this week, they're too good to come. All right, that's locked, so that's going to cook now for a minute. No, I can't start over, Russ. I'm sorry. All you missed was the prep, and now I'm going to do it again a second time, so you don't worry about it. Just, uh, it's fine for a good starting point right here. You're good. Well, that's cooking for another minute. I just wanted to tell you guys, last week's show... I can't even remember what I cooked for you people. I think it was a chicken stir fry. Over 500 people watched me make chicken stir fry. And that's all because of you guys. Thank you. Uh, so I got to thank you. You share the posts that I make. Just comment. Just like it. Other people see it. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I really do. Even the beer review show. I had no expectations. But I was like, eh, maybe 10 people watch. 300 people watch me drink a beer. Uh, I don't understand it. But thank you very much. It means a lot to me because you guys know how much I love doing this show every week. All right, so this is going to be good enough for the sentimental mutual respect business. All right, so you know what's going to be done? You can't see it, and I really can't turn this around enough for you because everything's going to be bubbling. The cheese is going to be coming out the sides. If you're worried about the cheese, how like it looks like, maybe the cheese ain't coming out the side of true, true or the breadcrumb. It's right. You put it on for another 10 seconds, 30 seconds. It's no big deal. It's not going to burn. Oh, Stacy, anyone can do this. I do it. I, how hard could it be to do this? That's no big deal. Come on. Someone said to me the other day, oh, you got a lot of talent. No, it's just magic. To do as much as I do with as little talent as I have, it's magic. Trust me. So you take your fork, right? Again, I don't know how much you guys can see. And you just coat around the edges of this to lift it up. Because you want to free up any of the cheese that might, like, have, like, gotten, like, in between the grill, the waffle, like, parts of the, uh, the waffle parts of the pan. Right? You lift up. And you take your tongue, and you put it over here on the dish to cool. Just like that. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me get these off. This one came out a little shingaz, I think. No, no, no. This one's good. Let's get it on there deep. And like I said, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll bring it over to you. Uh, no, I don't want that in the fucking... Uh, I got some cursing. I all right I'm just coming around so you start seeing what we're doing here right you see oh look at that that's the that's like a money shot right there almost right too bad Bill's out here he'd be loving this all right so now so someone like Russ who's a, a little bit of a late comer right uh, no apron this week there's no splatter so I didn't need the apron and plus I'm wearing this the, my cool uh, uh, Kingdom Come Superman logo t-shirt. I don't want to cover it up with the apron. But there's no splatter for this, so I didn't need the apron. So again, from the top for like latecomers like Russ, right? I take my block of mozzarella. You cut it in half and then half again. So you got four strips. You cut all four of those strips directly in half. Now you got eight. From one comes eight. It's, uh, it's like this mozzarella block is like a Duggard's vagina. There's so many things coming out of it. And it's okay. We take our block, right? Go right into the flour. What the what that's gonna do is gonna take some excess moisture that might be on it off, and it makes the texture of the uh, uh, cheese a little gritty. This way, other stuff starts to stick to it. Exactly, Martha. It's cheese. It's a cheese waffle, but it's mozzarella, and you could do this with any cheese if you get a block of cheddar or whatever cheese you like. Maybe you like Gouda. Maybe you like Brie. You can like whatever you want. It's okay. I'm not gonna judge you if you don't if you like a different kind of cheese than I like. I'm not going to unfriend you on Facebook because we see the world differently through cheese. It's all right. Right, we come right into the egg wash. All right, we cover all six sides. Again, someone's going to be counting. Why is there six sides? Because it's a cube. Right into the breadcrumb. Move the tongue out the way. All right, you want to cover this as much as possible with the breadcrumb. All right, I'm gonna put some more breadcrumb in there. All right, and now I go back to the egg, and right back into the breadcrumb. 
Uh, Stacy, the breadcrumbs are, are, are Italian seasoned. You can do it with panko. I uh, I am not too crazy about panko for this, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, Maria, actually, it's not fresh. It's got to be dry. If it's fresh mozzarella, it won't uh, it won't cook up right. Uh, I, uh, from what I was uh, reading. All right, and again, you play with this a little bit. You want to play with it long, because like I said, you want it to get hard. If you don't play with it, it don't get hard. All right? Just like your husband. It's the same thing, ladies. All right, we're going to put this off to the side here, right? Because got I got two waffles to make, so I got to make two at a time, right? So we go into this. And if you should happen to forget the steps, like maybe go into the egg first by mistake, go right into the flour. It's all right. You're not going to hurt nothing. All right. So what you're going to do is make your flour wet. Mix some more in and it's going to be okay. Just like Bob Ross said, baby, no mistakes, just happy accidents. It's okay. I'm glad we could all come together now for food. Because really, that's that that's what food eating is all about, is you come together with people. And uh, my fingers are getting slippery here. And you enjoy each other's company over a nice meal. All right. Back right into the breadcrumb, right? We're gonna throw some on. Try to get some of the loose stuff off your thumb, off your fingers onto it. It's fine. You'll find though, as you work with it, that the stuff will stick to your fingers easier than it sticks to the uh, uh, cheese. All right. I don't remember if that was twice or not for this. Is that twice for the, I think that was once for this one. All right. All right, and back into the breadcrumb. Exactly, that's what she said. Kim knows. Uh, I'll be seeing Kim in a few weeks at, uh, next month at the uh, bow ties and uh, beers event over in uh, uh, Ebor. Can't wait. Big charity thing that she's running. Kim, throw the uh, link up if you want into the chat, and people can see that with that awesome event is that you that you're running. All right, we put these right onto the waffle maker. All right, we're gonna get these off my, see this is where the confusing part comes because I'm gonna get burnt. All right, two minutes, so it's 9.22. We put a little pressure, try to get some of this off our fingers so we can make more of these. I don't think you guys need a third round. Thank you, Keith, for noticing the new setup. Yeah, I tweak it every week. I got a table, got the camera, a different spot. I moved the furniture around. It's a whole scene here, baby. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna have people sitting here while I cook, and they're gonna be eating while I'm cooking, talking to you people. I'm telling you, baby, this is the place to be. I don't know what Ed's telling me over on Twitter, but I think I'll wait. All right, Were you guys, you guys talking or anything? No, okay, good. I'm just trying to get some of it off my fingers so that I can operate this. All right, that's in the lock position. It's got about 90 seconds. And you'll tell, be able to tell, like I said, you'll see the cheese start to bubble out. The uh, bread crumb will turn a nice golden brown. There's no doubt that it's done when it's done. You know what I mean? It's not like you're looking at it going, mm, I don't know if this is done. Someone take a bite. Trust me, if you're looking at it thinking if it's done, it's done. That's good enough. Rachel Ray, she can't hang over here. She, uh, you know, she's all frilly. Or not the other chick that I'm thinking of, the uh, the other Italian, the Italian bride. Mm. Ice cubes, I can't help it, sorry, it's a bad habit. I love chewing on ice cubes. So yeah, what I got here is just, just some wine and shampooed. It's, it's sangria, essentially. It's not my first glass of the day. Gaida, yeah, that's her, oof, ah, that one. All right, another minute. Just getting all this off my fingers. This way I can make some more. Make sure all the egg is out of there. So now, like, while you're waiting, if I wanted to, I could crack another egg. I could come over here and I could beat these some more. Because the, the fluffier the eggs are, the better it is for everything. Even when you're making when you're making scrambled eggs at home for you know for your breakfast for your kids or something, you know, you just keep beating them. The more you beat them, the better it gets. Ugh. Eaten. 
right, there you go. All right. I am using one hand for the egg and the other for the, oh no, for the egg and the, no, it, it's just better to just hop up, it's just better to use one hand for everything, because then this way I know I've got one clean hand at all times to operate the waffle iron. But believe me, that's going to make a mess. Exactly, just like patience. Stacey knows. All right. Let's wait another 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Exactly, you beat them till they're nice. I don't know if you guys can hear the music at all, but it's like, it, this song in particular, it's like, it sounds like when the Saints come marching in. I really should be listening to the stuff when I make the uh, uh, the New Orleans-esque uh, dish that I have planned for you guys in the next few weeks, but it's all right. I don't know who Governor Cuomo's chick is, Keith, sorry. I don't pay attention to the news. And I'm 1,800 miles away, so that's the other thing. All right. So these should be good now. Miss Trinidad is here. She's a business owner up in Bay Ridge. I'll be up there soon. And like I say, you you just play with them just a little bit. See the cheese on this one all broke? It's going to be all right, though. You play with them just a little bit so that they come off the waffle line. Nice. Just around the edges to where you can grab it with the tongue. And we put it on our plate. The most important thing with this is that you let them cool off. All right, that one's got some burnt cheese, but it's all right. And there you go. Do you guys need to see another round of this? You just got it? Well, you just tell me what you want. You know, do you want to see it make it again? Because I know, like, uh, Miss Trinidad, she's uh, late to the show here. I'll do another round of these for you people. Oh, Stacey, I'm going to be the salty dog probably soon enough. Trust me. You guys, whatever you guys want, you just tell me in the comments. You just want me to do another round of these so you can see it again. No big deal to me, what we do here. I'll do another round, it's no big deal. Like I said, you got your eggs, you beat them up. I got plenty, I got plenty, and I gotta cook them all anyway for to bring them to, to the ER, so. What's up, Evelyn? I'll see how soon too, what's this for? I got so many folks, I don't know what to do with them anymore, right? All right, so, again, for you latecomers, right? We take our cube of mozzarella, we took our block of mozzarella, cut it in half, and then half again. Cut that in half again. So from one, we got eight cubes of mozzarella, right? We put it into our flour. Yeah, I gotta finish all up all the ingredients anyway, so it's no big deal. I'm just, I believe me, I got, I got this whole plate of mozzarella to cook. So whether I'm talking to myself or talking to you people, it's no big deal to me. But you know, I do try to keep the time for this, uh, you know, under like 30, 30 to 40 minutes. So I'll do this round and then we'll wrap it up. Right, go from the flour to the egg. I see you too. All right. There we go. We got this all covered up nice and egg right into the breadcrumb. We're just going to throw the rest of the breadcrumb in. All right. Now we're going to mess around with this. You just keep flipping it over every which direction into the breadcrumb. Make sure all the breadcrumb sticks as much as possible to it. And once you think it's good and no more sticking to it, you gotta go back to the egg. Just like this, cover all the sides with egg. And then right back into the breadcrumb. Like I say, you got kids, this is awesome because uh, kids will love making this. I had some people asking me, uh, uh, even uh, this morning actually, Asked me what I was cooking for tonight on the show. I was like, I have no idea. I make this stuff up as I go along. All right, put that over there. We take our other one. Your diet, stop it. You women, you're crazy with these diets. Just be like me. You just lose the weight. Trust me, down 35 pounds this year. It's got to live a little bit. You got to taste the food. You can't eat salad all the time. There's plenty of time for that later when you're old. And you have to eat, uh, like, whatever the hell they give you at the a ALFs where you're going to be living when your kids stick you. All right, so take that in the flour, mess it around, into the egg. All right. Do 
all, all you women with these diets, you just make it sound like he's got a swimsuit contest to be in. He's the perfect the way he's up. Just stop it. Your fellow loves you that way, trust me. He don't want to tell you. He don't want to make you like, feel bad or something. He loves you just the way you are with your curves. Alright? I'll tell you. Your Uncle Stu Gatz, that's what I do. I set the record straight for you people to make sure you should go out into the world to be, and be responsible, uh, uh, well-adjusted adults. You think I'm playing over here. Well, right now I am. But So, the only thing you people really missed was me with the cheese, because I really didn't think anyone wanted to see me cut the cheese. Ha, ha, ha. Cut the cheese. You see what I did there? Oh, forget about it. All right, so we go to our egg again. I was dying to use that joke, and I almost forgot it. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right. Keep messing around with this. Get a nice... What kind of cheese? It's just mozzarella, Evelyn. You, but you can use any kind you want. You know? Let's see. Moderation is the key. You gotta have some good food at once or twice a week. And then the rest of the week, you have those protein bars or whatever the fuck we gotta eat these days, right? All right, I'm gonna spray those. Uh, let me get this over here because it's gonna fall in. As far as the spray, oh, we don't see the label of the spray. Whatever spray you go to the store and get, all right? I still got people asking me, oh, you didn't tell us what sauces you use. I use so uh, spices you use in your sauce. I use spice, all right? Spices, that's what was used. All right, so that's two minutes, 9.31. 9.33, we take them out, we see what they look like. But look at the fingers, look at Ugh. Ugh, right? Looks like I had them up someone's nose. Maybe I did. Yeah, I said you could use Brie. You were in here I said that. Yeah, Brie's fine to use. Uh, uh, Havarti, whatever the cheese you want. You could use a big block of Parmesan. Again, whatever makes you happy. You got a Bob Ross in this kitchen, baby. You put those little uh, uh, little trees wherever you want. Oh, look at my fingers. There's raw eggs on this thing. What's wrong with you? Want me to get sick? He's <laughs> silly. All right, so. Let's gotta go for another minute. Bree smells. Bree smells like someone's uh, uh, feet, you know. But you know, again, it's fine. Even if they are someone's feet, it's no big deal. All right. Ah. All right. All right. Now I gotta wash my hands. All right, use uh, my raspberry soap. Oh, all right. All right, those should be good right about now. No, another minute. Oh, good night, Stacy. We miss you over at the place. All right. Like I said, just come around the edges with your fork. What you're doing by that is just you're just freeing it up from wherever it might be like stuck or, or the, the cheese that seeped out has gotten into the, the nooks of the waffle iron. Get off the burnt stuff and put them on our plate like this. And there you go. Right? Whoops. All right, just like that. I'm not going to come around and show you guys. I do want to freshen up my sauce a little bit because it's been sitting here for a little bit. All right. All right. Cover that. All right, I'm going to come over here now. Hey, you guys like this? How's that looking, right? Looks good, right? All right, let me take one of these. I think one from the bottom. No, I think this little one. That's way too hot. Yeah, let's take this one. Okay. All right, we got our sauce over here now. We dip it. Oh, man. Look at that. Huh? That's living right there, baby. I could deliver, don't worry. 
Mmm. Delicious. Oh man. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Uh, mmm. It's an orgasm of cheese. I wasn't lying when I said that, right? That wasn't just some fancy little word I put in there to get people's attention. It's an orgasm of cheese. A live audience will be coming soon. I'm working on it. It's all a process. You just gotta be patient with everything. All right, uh, I don't know. I might be traveling next week. It might be a little difficult to do a show. I have to see. I'm waiting for some information to come back. But if not, there won't be a show. But if, if I'm not traveling, I mean, if I am traveling, there won't be. If I'm not traveling, there will be. I'll let you guys know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got it all covered. All right. I want to thank everyone. I'm glad you're salvating. You should be. It, it is an orgasm experience. What's up, Jeanette? Yeah, you need cooking lessons. I can show you how to make this stuff. It's simple. I, even an ape could do it. I'm doing it. How hard is it, right? But I want to thank you guys for watching every week and for spreading the word and telling everyone about the show. I appreciate it. Until next week, keep banging, baby. Come over here now. We turn this off like this.